More and more residential properties have been built in Gretna over several decades. I'm John Brown, your neighborhood reporter in Gretna, and I spoke to the man behind the development for several residential properties. According to a recent University of Nebraska Lincoln report, building permits for single family homes in Nebraska increased during October. That's true, especially in Gretna. In fact, the city planning board recently approved rezoning a large tract of land near 204th and Capehard Road so developers can turn it into a new subdivision with 227 homes. Gretna area developer Paul McCune is selling the land to another developer. He's been working here for 25 years and says Gretna is poised to continue to grow. And you're seven minutes from a major grocery chain or you're 25 minutes to Westroads. So you could get out on the edge of town enjoy everything that Gretna has to offer. From his perspective, McCune says Sarpy County needs more homes that first-time home buyers can afford. In fact, that's why his company is currently working on nine separate projects that will eventually bring more than 1,100 new homes to the area. That first-time buyer out of an apartment, um, you've got to have a product out there that he can afford to get into. Sarpy County grew 20% from 2010 to 2020. With that comes the need for more housing. As we grow and we get businesses and try to get our own major grocery stores and our own major retail, we have to have people to work at those places. Thus, we need more of a starter home size lot in Gretna. I'm your neighborhood reporter in Gretna, John Brown, 3 News Now.